Here's the harsh truth you're probably not ready to hear, the world isn't designed to make you rich. In fact, it's designed to keep you poor, financially, mentally, and spiritually. Think about it, we're told from day one to follow this ridiculous formula, the one that hasn't worked for decades. Go to school, work hard, get a good job, climb the corporate ladder, and retire at 65 with just enough money to enjoy the last few years of your life. But here's the real question, whose idea of success is that? Let's be real, this entire formula was created to serve someone else. The system we live in isn't just outdated, it's actively working against you. The people who push this formula don't care about your happiness, your fulfillment, or your freedom. They care about one thing, keeping you locked into a system that benefits them. And if you're still following this outdated roadmap, let me tell you, it's time to wake up. It's time to get pissed off. But here's the thing most people miss, it's not just the system that's the problem. It's also you. That's right, you're complicit in your own suffering. You've bought into the lie. You've accepted this false narrative because it's comfortable, because it's easier to believe that success is just about working hard and paying your dues. But the truth? The truth is that success today isn't about working harder, it's about thinking differently. Let me paint you a picture of what's really going on. Right now, you've got two choices, either continue playing by their rules or start writing your own. And that's what this video is all about, rewriting the rules. This isn't just a video about making money or escaping the grind. This is about creating a completely new vision for your life, a vision where you are the one in control. And this, my friends, is where the concept of an anti-vision comes in. While everyone else is obsessing over their vision boards filled with yachts, sports cars, and luxury vacations, I'm telling you to start with the anti-vision. What is the life you refuse to live? What are the things you will not tolerate, the soul-sucking routines that you will never accept again? Paint that picture first. Because until you know exactly what you want to avoid, you'll keep walking into the same traps. Let's talk about the anti-vision in more detail. What does it look like? Maybe it's the image of you stuck in a 9 to 5 job, sitting in traffic, punching a clock, and wasting your life away to make someone else rich. Maybe it's the version of you that's constantly tired, constantly stressed, living paycheck to paycheck, and never feeling like you're enough. You wake up in the morning, and your first thought is, is this all there is? That, my friend, is the anti-vision. That is the life you must fight tooth and nail to avoid. And that's where we flip the script? Instead of running toward a vague idea of success that someone else sold you, you start running away from the life you refuse to live. When you become crystal clear on your anti-vision, you start making decisions with ruthless precision. You say no to the things that lead you down that dark path. You say yes only to what moves you closer to true freedom. Now let me challenge you further, if you think success is about climbing to the top of some corporate ladder, you've already lost. That ladder is a trap. Success today isn't about reaching the top, it's about stepping off the damn ladder altogether. You've got to stop thinking vertically and start thinking horizontally. What do I mean by that? Let's get into it. Most people are stuck in a linear mindset, start at the bottom, work your way up, and someday you'll reach the top. But that mindset belongs to the old world. Today, the real winners are the ones who reject the vertical climb and focus on creating horizontal opportunities. What does that mean? It means building multiple streams of income, creating systems that run without you, and diversifying your life so you're never dependent on just one thing. Let me break this down even further. The old model was about specialization, becoming really good at one thing so you could climb higher and higher in your field. But guess what? Specialization is a trap. It locks you into a narrow role where your success depends entirely on forces outside of your control. You think you're safe because you've mastered a skill, but in reality, you're just a pawn in someone else's game. And the moment they don't need you anymore? You're out. Done. Forgotten. Here's the new model, diversification. It's about becoming a generalist, not a specialist. It's about building multiple revenue streams so you're never reliant on one source of income. You've got an online business here, a side hustle there, investments working for you in the background, and all of these things are running independently. So, when one source dries up, you've still got three others bringing in cash. That's real freedom. But it's not just about diversification in business, it's about diversifying your entire life. Think about it, are you putting all your happiness in one basket? Are you relying on one job, one person, one dream to fulfill you? If so, you're setting yourself up for disaster. Freedom comes when you spread your bets across the board. 
Don't tie your self-worth to a single outcome. Instead, create a life where success is inevitable because you've got so many different ways to win. Now let's talk about the psychology of failure. Here's something nobody tells you, failure isn't the opposite of success. It's part of the process. But not in the Instagram motivational quote way you're used to hearing. I'm talking about real, gut-wrenching failure, the kind that makes you question everything you thought you knew about yourself. The kind that makes you want to quit. That's the type of failure that separates the winners from the losers. Because most people? They quit. They give up. They decide that maybe the old system wasn't so bad after all. But the truth is, failure is your greatest asset, if you know how to use it. Every time you fail, you gain something that the winners don't have, resilience, perspective, and a willingness to challenge the status quo. Because failure forces you to innovate. It forces you to adapt. It forces you to find new ways to win. And that's where the real magic happens. Let me be clear, if you're not failing, you're not pushing hard enough. Playing it safe is the most dangerous thing you can do because it guarantees mediocrity. You want to avoid failure? Fine, but you're also avoiding growth. You're avoiding success. The only way to truly win in this new world is to embrace failure, learn from it, and let it fuel your next move. But here's the catch, you can't just survive failure. You have to leverage it. Here's what I mean, every failure is a lesson, but more importantly, every failure is a tool. It's a weapon you can use to cut through the bullshit and get to what really matters. When you fail, you're forced to strip away all the fluff, all the nonsense, and focus on what's essential. Failure teaches you to think differently. It forces you to innovate. It pushes you to build systems that are stronger, smarter, and more resilient. So, here's your new mantra, fail faster, fail smarter, fail forward. Don't just aim for success, aim to fail in ways that teach you something new, that open up new possibilities, that force you to grow beyond your comfort zone. That's how you become unstoppable. Now let's switch gears and talk about something even more critical, how the concept of value is shifting in the modern economy. In the old world, value was tied to tangible assets, land, machinery, raw materials. But in today's world, value is all about attention and information. If you know how to capture attention and package information in a way that solves a problem, you can write your own ticket. This is the new currency, and if you're not playing in this space, you're falling behind. Let's break it down. Attention is the most valuable asset in today's economy. Why? Because everyone is fighting for it. Companies, influencers, advertisers, they're all competing for a few seconds of your focus. And if you can learn to control that, if you can learn to capture and hold attention, you can create massive opportunities for yourself. This is where the information business comes in. An information-based business is about more than just selling knowledge, it's about creating authority. It's about positioning yourself as a leader in your space, someone who people trust and turn to for answers. But here's the catch, you don't have to be the expert. You just have to be the curator. You just have to organize and present the information in a way that adds value. And once you've done that, you can scale infinitely because the internet doesn't have borders. Now, let's dig deeper into product-based businesses. Sure, physical products are cool. But digital products? They're the real game changers. Why? Because once you create a digital product, it can be sold over and over again without any additional cost. You're not dealing with inventory, shipping, or supply chain issues. You create it once, and it becomes an automated income stream. That's the beauty of leveraging digital assets. But there's more to it. The real secret to success isn't just creating a product or a service, it's creating a system. A system that runs without you, that scales without you, and that keeps growing even when you're not around. That's the ultimate freedom. Think about it, if your business requires you to be there every day, you're still trading your time for money. And that's not real freedom. Real freedom comes when you've built systems that generate income automatically, that keep working even when you're not. And that's where AI comes in. AI isn't just a buzzword, it's the future of business. If you're not leveraging AI, you're already behind. AI can automate your processes, optimize your systems, and free up your time to focus on what really matters. And the best part? AI doesn't sleep. It doesn't take breaks. It doesn't ask for a raise. It just works. So here's the bottom line, if you want to succeed in the modern world, you need to stop thinking like an employee and start thinking like a machine. You need to create systems that work for you, that generate income on autopilot, and that allow you to scale infinitely. Success today isn't about working harder. It's about working smarter. 
It's about leveraging technology, embracing failure, and creating a vision for your life that breaks free from the old rules. The old world is dead, and the new world is here. But it's only waiting for those bold enough to embrace it. Now, the question is, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to keep playing by their rules, following their outdated formulas, and waiting for permission to succeed? Or are you going to take control of your own destiny, write your own rules, and build a life that's truly yours? The choice is yours. The clock is ticking. And the world isn't waiting.